name is Samuel Gabraslase from the Ethiopian Economic Association. Uh, I'm working at the association as research fellow, but this research was conducted by Future Agriculture Consortium. And this study was uh, a village level study, and uh, it was on, sm on small horticultural producers who had called for this study as a small investor. And the study tries to investigate the opportunities and the challenges uh, to transform the existing uh, growth process in the village to its next levels and tries to identify the opportunities and the uh, challenges existing in the study. Let's start with some background information. Uh, production and export of horticultural crops as well as commercialization of agriculture has got high policy priority in Ethiopia uh, since the past uh, five or uh, six years. But the government took uh, different strategies to develop or support the sector and a policy uh, for, uh, for the promotion of large modern commercial farm could be considered as very comprehensive and attractive. And this refer refers to easy and cheap access to large and suitable farmlands, long-term credit from uh, mainly from government bankers, duty-free import of, of machineries and farm inputs, tax holidays both for profit and uh, export, and there is also the government established a federal agency to coordinate these incentives. Policy measures and incentives to encourage small horticultural producers, however, is not equally transparent and uh, supportive. There is no federal agency. That means there is weak, uh, uh, weak intervention from federal government, and support is largely a regional issue uh, and mostly limited to agriculture extension and training and focused on integrating small farmers into the market economy. Implied justification for ex exclusive incentives package or policy support for large commercial producers includes production is mainly destined for export market and large commercial uh, product, uh, producers thought to require entrepreneurial and modern management skills and large economies of scales, which lacks the sector in Ethiopia. This is a, a major justification for the government to uh, provide exclusive support for uh, large uh, producers. On the other hand, the low policy support to small producers might reflect the pessimistic view on private investments in smallholder agriculture. Moreover, small farmers are largely considered as homogeneous units. And few believe that small farmers have the aspiration and as well as the capacity required to progress themselves into modern and large uh, commercial farmers. This policy bias or divergence might reflect two points. First, private or long-term investment might not might not be considered appropriate at this stage of small farmers' development. And policy makers might not have sufficient information or data uh, to change their view. This, this might be the two hypotheses why small farmers have got a small uh, or relatively small support from the government. Then the objective of this study is uh, using small group of emerging class of small investor farmers. This study intended to document the diversity and the dynamics among small farmers in the study area, as well as the development opportunities and challenges they faced. And it also aims to spur debate and further rigorous studies on the need to evaluate and adapt policies and service provision both to emerging as well as conventional problems. Uh, over the past four years, two separate but complementary studies focused on small horticultural uh, producers were conducted. 
And this study indicates the positive impact of irrigated horticultural crops in improving producers' cash income as well as reorienting agriculture from subsistence or from subsistence oriented into market oriented. Also, more dynamism has been introduced into the farming systems. Farmers, however, were not equally benefited. Moreover, the study identified a few farmers who are performing ex exceptionally different from, uh, from the majority. This heterogeneity or disparity could be uh, explained in, t in terms of investment or scale of production and in terms of productivity. In terms of uh, investment or scale of production, for example, the survey shows that the top 25% of the farmers managed to double their irrigated farm size uh, from uh, two, 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 two to four summer. That means from half to hectare of uh, farmland. While average irrigated plot, farm, plot for farmers in the bottom 25 declined marginally. This is between 2010 and 2012. Similarly, there's wide disparity in productivity, uh, both in the two crops, uh, which are considered in the study, both the onion and tomato production. This disparity in productivity reflects a corresponding uh, differences in the level of investment and intensity of management. Uh, existing uh, support to small, small, orders, <laughs> small order sector, however, does not reflect such disparity. That means the extension system is homogeneously targeted to a different kind of farmers. And it's also biased to, towards the average or below the average performing farmers. Why then, the question comes, why a study on these uh, farmers, these, uh, these farmers? I think, you know, the motive behind a separate study on these emerging small farmers emanates from the following points. First, the ultimate objective of any intervention by the public sector in small order is to speed up the rural urban integration, then also to transform the rural economy as well as uh, to push the process of agro-enterprise development in the rural areas. And such objectives demand a group of farmers that lead the process. These farmers were considered to push or to lead this process. So the study believes there, there should be an institutional support search for such kind of farmers. The study is expected to improve awareness on the changing realities of small, small order farmers in the study area. It is also expected to lead the way for future studies on typology or dynamism in small farmers. Being as, as a model, as well as agent of change, any support to these farmers is expected to have a pulling effect on other fellow or average farmers. Then the question comes, who are these emerging uh, small investor farmers? This is a new study, so it needs to define uh, this kind of farmers. Uh, for this study, emerging small investor farmers could be considered as a group of small farmers who are dynamic enough to lend themselves to emerging opportunities as well as emerging challenges and emerging tasks. But we don't have prior information on the size as well as the basic characteristics of these farmers. Therefore, the study adopted a temporary working definition that should be uh, necessary to identify such farmers from other uh, farmers. Based on a thorough evaluation of characteristics of sample farmers surveyed in previous studies, the following temporary definition was adopted, and an emerging small investor farmer is expected to consider himself or herself not a part of traditional farm households and investing in farming as a business. This is a subjective judgment and based on uh, subjective uh, awareness of their position. Apart from this very important but difficult to assess criteria, such farmers are expected to meet one or more of the following measurable criteria. They were expected to engage in factor markets, uh, at least in uh, different 
away from the other farmers. They have also expected to harvest and sell, sell significantly higher than the average farmers. And they have also to have some aspiration or some dreams to invest on their farm and other activities, both along the, on the, value, uh, on the value chain and also beyond their farms. So this this would be considered as temporary definitions to identify this group of farmers from, from other uh, uh, farmers. This shows the, the study area. It's located as a central part of the country uh, on the Rift Valley, and it is very close to the capital, as well as the regional markets of Bishofto and Adama, and it's on the highway that runs both to neighboring countries to Djibouti and Kenya. So it's very accessible to markets and to other uh, infrastructure areas. Matters and data, based on this temporary definition and following the snowball principle, about 40 emerging small investor farmers were selected. And after the initial contact with a given emerging small farmers expected to be suitable, uh, we have uh, the study team asked him her or her to name other relevant person he or she knew to make the second contact, and this process has continued until we reach the uh, 40 numbers of the uh, samples considered. And different kinds of data were collected, both on production, transport, marketing, and other uh, non farm activities. It's also uh, background information on the households were collected. Then this, this study is, is purely discriminative study, and it's not aimed for uh, statistical representative sample. Uh, the objective is not uh, included. As samples for the study were not, were not random observation, largely drawn from unknown po population, any findings should be considered as provisional uh, because uh, we don't know the, the samples and the other important characteristics of these uh, this uh, small investor farmers. Results, the study shows major internal differences among small farmers, and the difference extends, extends from variation in basic household characteristics to access to resources, ability to use them efficiently, that means terms of productivity as well as uh, future uh, investment and aspiration. There is clear, uh, clear differences. Farmers cultivate farms uh, uh, that varies from half a hectare to six hectares and produce various annual crops including teff, wheat, chickpeas and vegetables, mainly onion and tomatoes. Our culture is largely rain fed but vegetables are produced through irrigation using both underground water and surface water, both from uh, Coca Lake and Mojo Rivers. Which runs in. And this table shows the uh, difference in terms of the household characteristics. And as you see, uh, as you see on, the, on these two columns, there is big difference uh, between emerging small farmers and other farmers, both in terms of household characteristics and experiences, in terms of farm size and irrigations, and in terms of uh, participation in factor markets and of farm jobs. And most of these differences were uh, statistically significant. And this, uh, this uh, figure shows the disparity in terms of access to farmlands and uh, uh, the, the first chart on the left side shows the disparity on the average farmers. And it's, it is not narrowly really distributed, uh, but the disparity on, on small investor farmers is more or less normally distributed. And this shows these farmers have dynamic enough. There is high dynamism among these farmers because it's the process or the, uh, the differentiation is, is continuous. So it shows there is more dynamism among these farmers in terms of expanding their farm sizes. 
this also shows uh, the disparity in productivity. And similarly, here, this, this uh, uh, chart shows the disparity in terms of, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, in average uh, productivity. And here is also a disparity is more or less uh, no, no, a normal distributions. The, still, this indicates there is a dynamism, more dynamism among these farmers compared to this, to this farmer. This, this uh, or more or less a similar uh, table shows uh, dis uh, the difference in productivity, farm income, and expenses, and uh, uh, the, the story is more or less uh, similar. This is in terms of a picture. This is one on in farm of the sample taken in the study area, and you can see many laborers were employed, and the farm is, is more or less uh, could be considered large farmers. This also shows another picture, which uh, uh, shows uh, incomes from vegetable productions is reinvested outside the farm, reinvested on, on uh, livestock production. Similarly, this, this, this table shows the disparity in future investment and aspiration. And this is simply shows a, a result uh, on the question to yes or no, whether they have uh, interest to invest, so for example, in agro-business, in transport, input supply, wholesaler agents, and also to diversify to, uh, to investment outside their farms. And as uh, this shows, the emerging small investor farmers have very high interest to invest both along their uh, value chains and outside the farm. This is only their wish. The result shows simply their wish, whether they have uh, uh, interest to invest more. But they, they face critical problems because every support from the government in terms of policy, in terms of institutions, is focused on very low-level producers and uh, commercial producers, especially foreign investors. And these farmers have been almost neglected in terms of policy and institutions. And our discussion with such kind of farmers uh, shows that they have uh, major problems to get access to uh, land uh, because uh, land is, is, cannot be used as collateral and uh, la the land rental markets operate under different uh, problems and they have also uh, big problems to access capital, especially long-term uh, credit, which require to invest on uh, different activities. Uh, yeah, thank you. They have also we gets weak support in terms of business skill, marketing, and post-production activities along the whole value chain. So this is a very critical constraint for such farmers. Let's conclude with two or three slides. Though the heterogeneity of the smallholder sector in the study area cannot be interpreted as reflected two single groups, the study shows a range of internal dissimilarity between emerging small investor farmers and as other or average farmers. In general, emerging small investor farmers are at the forefront in terms of job creation and uh, or other positive multiplier effects. They are also better suited for any interventions that aim for further investment and for spreading entrepreneurship uh, spread in the study area. Though any exclusive treatment of such farmers might fuel up the process, of, the process of social differentiation that might narrow the space for equal or free participation subsequent development process, it is important to note that high probability for nonlinear growth process among farmers in the study areas is, is, is visible. So, and the, the design, the, so it, it needs uh, the system to design to be flexible and dynamic enough to reflect such heterogeneity. Finally, as samples for the study were not random, observation largely drawn from unknown population, any findings should be considered as temporary and needs further verification using 
more for four millimeters and especially uh, large sample uh, sample drawn from pre-identified population. Similarly, the study indicates the need for more studies on internal di differences and the dynamism among small farmers, especially in high potential and cash crop producing areas, such as the study area. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.